Hey, what's up? It's Vani Hudson with FixedByVani.com, and today you're going to learn about 10 magnificent features that Windows 10 has to offer you. And it's all about Continuum. It's all about Cortana. It's all about the charms. The char I okay, charms? There's nothing charming about the girls at that bar, right? The charms bar is gone, thank God. But let's jump into the features that you are going to like in Windows 10. So what's the first thing that most people think about when they see Windows 10? Well, they think, where the heck, why should I use Windows 10? And it's all because of the start menu, right? The start menu is your number one reason, or it should be your number one reason for even wanting to consider Windows 10. The start menu is awesome. Let me show you what this is all about. So here's the Windows 10 start menu. Let's go ahead and open it up. And you can see a bunch of different things. These are live tiles. They are constantly updating information from the net. You're getting news, you're getting um, new games that are available. It's a never ending, interminable stream of information that, in my opinion, it sucks. I mean, I don't really care about all the stuff here. Some people might like it. If you like it, that's great. Let me show you what you can do with this stuff here. So first of all, you can change the size of the live tiles. You can right click the tiles, resize, you can make it small. And of course, you can grow a baby tile into a big papa tile. And eventually into a large big daddy tile. And of course you can make them different shapes and you can you know, toss them around and you know play with them as you want. You can also disable the live tiles if they start to get annoying. Um, see it says turn live tile off. That will prevent the tile from always updating. So that's also a good feature to have. Now let's say your tiles are getting messy. You've got too many tiles on a screen. You want to clean up your start screen or your start menu. How would you do that? Well, you take a tile and drag it. And it takes some dexterity to do this, but you want to drag it until you see this green horizontal bar. You release the mouse there and you see where it says name group. Now you, you just made a new group. It's like a new folder on your desktop. And so I can name this group anything I want, but I'm going to name it productivity. I'm just going to neaten it up a little bit, put calendar over there, put my mail in that group. So now I've got my email and my calendar in the productivity group. Of course, you can have as many name groups as you want. You can also change the um, size of the start uh, menu. So you can make it big horizontally. You can stretch it horizontally, sorry, horizontally, <laughs> or you can stretch it vertically either way you want. You can also get to your programs. So in Windows 7 and Windows XP, you would always have your all programs section. In Windows 10, it's a little different. It's called all apps. Down in the bottom left corner, you click all apps and you'll see all the apps that you have on your computer. Now this is a bit of a misnomer because it also includes programs. Apps are like limited programs that live in the Microsoft Store. Programs are what you're conversant with already. Adobe Photoshop, CAD, I don't know who has CAD these days, but you know Microsoft Office, those are your programs. They all live here. Now, if you want to make the start menu full screen like it was in Windows 8, I'm sorry, I've got a lot of hate for 8. And in my opinion, it wasn't really the start screen, it was the start scream. Because when I saw the start screen in Windows 8, I wanted to scream. In fact, I think I did scream because it, it's just, it's too juvenile. It's too intrusive. It's made for touch screens. Face it, who actually has a touch screen on their laptop these days? I don't, maybe you do, I don't know. Let me show you how to make this thing full screen if you wanted to. You would go down to your settings. Let's go back, settings, personalization, start. Scroll down, see where it says use start full screen. Turn that to on. <laughs> Wondering what's new for info. Okay, there's also a Getting Started app that will tell you everything that's new and completely obviates the purpose of this video. So you should just go to the All Apps, Getting Started app, and you'll be done. <laughs> okay, so let me show you what the Start screen looks like. That's the Start screen. And it looks a little better, right? You can see the background through there. Um, you've still got your power button here. There's a little um, option here to go back to your all of your files. So it's kind of neat. And of course, if you want to get back to your original start menu or your settings, you could just go here, go to settings, and 
accordingly disable it or turn it into the way that you want which is what I'm going to do what's next what's next is Cortana baby and man is she hot <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, actually, I'm not. She, the blue chicks, come on. You gotta love them. Don't they remind you of the Smurfs a little bit? All right, anyway, uh, let's look at Cortana and what she's got for you in Windows 10. So Cortana is in the taskbar, and you gotta know how to turn her on. You gotta know what buttons to press, <laughs> okay? So if you wanna turn Cortana on, uh, first thing you need to do is, actually, I think she's, she's turned on already. As you can see, she's trying to smile and communicate with you. Um, so you gotta give her some basic information for setup, right? So you click next and you know, tell her what you're interested in. Right, so you give her your name. And then you need to sign in with your almighty Microsoft account. All right, so I get signed in, waiting for her to load and find out everything there is to know about me. I can keep track of you. Yes, I know you're going to keep track of me. So the first thing I want to show you is the notebook. The notebook's actually kind of, <laughs> not the movie, the notebook, this, this feature of the notebook. If I click open notebook, I can tell Cortana a bunch of different things about me, right? So I can give her, um, for example, I can tell her you know, movies that I like. I can say, you know, see the latest movie trailers. And this is kind of cool because it really lets you customize the kind of stuff that she gives you. Tell her the food that you like to eat, eat and drink cards, price ranges. I mean, this gets really specific, as you can see. You know, I'm, I'm a high-end kind of guy. I like really good food, so I, I'm going I'm to do that. And you can even add the cuisine. This is, this is very, a very useful feature. The other feature that's pretty cool is Hey Cortana. So to get to Hey Cortana, meaning I just say Hey Cortana and she leaps into action, ready to execute my requests with alacrity, I just have to go to Start, Settings, Cortana. And here, Hey Cortana is off. If I turn it on, then she's on. See this little microphone that popped up down here. Let me just have to configure this to make sure that um, she can hear you. So anyway, you set this up and then you say, hey, Cortana, she's ready to execute your requests. She jumps on it. Hey, Cortana. Um, are you hot? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so okay, so that that's kind of silly. So let me tell you some cool, some cool things you can ask Cortana. You can say, "All right, hey Cortana, hey Cortana." All right, I'm not going to ask those questions. Let me just tell you some things you can say. You can say, "How's my schedule looking?" And she'll check your calendar. You can say, um, "You know." What's the best sushi? What's the best sushi near me? Or what's the best car wash or the best gas prices near me? And she'll search all the gas places in the proximity to where you currently are. You can say, you know, who will win? And she'll try to predict the game results for football, you know, soccer, NBA, whatever your team is. She'll try to predict it based on information that she's gleaned from the internet. You can say, you know, show me a picture of Barack Obama. You can say, show me a picture of Michelle Obama. Show me a picture of Vonnie Hudson from fixbybonnie.com. <laughs> and she'll fetch the net, bing, of course, and she'll get it. And there's a bunch of other things you can say, like, you know, what's the status of flight 666? Well, okay, I hope you're not on a flight 666, but she'll check that flight number and see what the status is. That's all I'm going to say about Cortana. She's pretty cool. All right, so that's the first half of the new things you can expect in Windows 10. In my next video, I'll give you the other half, and you'll see why this is the great operating system that you need to check out. All right. So I'm Vani with FixedByVani.com. If you, uh, you're at the end of the video at this point, go ahead and thumb this video up. You know, thumb it down. I really don't care how you thumb it. I just want you to interact. Leave a comment in the bottom. 
go to fixedbyvani.com slash ebook, put in your email address and your first name, and I'll give you a free Google Chrome ebook that I'm working on that I've already finished. And also make sure you subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel so you can get more stuff like this directly into your YouTube. All right. Thanks again. Bye.